All right, man. This was a miracle if it <laughs> came off like I think it did. Uh, I didn't break the radiator, thank God. This was heat seized on so tightly. I had to literally pry this off, okay? It is toast, it's never using that. But I was able to do it really nice. I believe I saved your radiator. Uh, I've not, it got too hot for all this time, it being heated up and overheated, okay? I mean, very highly likely. I mean, luckily, this came off. There's no other way. I don't think any other mechanic would have got this off. I'm not tooting my own horn, nothing like that. Do you see this? Do you see this right here? This is me getting fucking pure lucky in a way and praying to not break that radiator. I had to literally pluck that to pieces after I took out the two snap rings, you can see, and I was able to pry that off and break it off enough because it was not gonna let go. That your piece says broke, it broke again. Right here, look at this. That was already ripped on the backside up that's just about to blow anyway so that is toast anyway this was the hose i was going to get today i'll have to get it it's not that much you need this regardless that's junk that it was okay here so i was able to get all of that off now when i get the new one it's just snap right into place nothing broke on your radar i mean i'm amazed i really did get that off i mean i almost just said f it i'm not touching this thing anymore but i did it you're not broken as far as I can tell. I'm, you know, I don't see how it was any other way. It was clean. Anybody else would have got that off of there. I'm not perfect, but hey, the way I plucked at it and used the lubricant and was able to get it off of there. I mean, it's, it, it, it actually feels good because I'm happy I got it off for you. Because this car really sucks. There's no other way it was coming off. Bottom line is I got it off. And when I get the new one, I can make my fitting, put it in there, done. That is gonna solve that problem okay just wanted you to see this crap it is ridiculous if you have <clears throat> i'll probably put this on youtube it's so unbelievable but yeah if you have a bmw <laughs> yeah get ready for fun because i mean i haven't cleaned this thing all up but these hoses are done all of them are really back here they're just even i mean they're about to blow back here i'm just showing you Everything's about to blow. I've been in here for 45 minutes plucking on this stupid thing. These snap rings should come off. It should be a little fight, but not much. Well, there goes one of them. Really. Anyway, it went to the ground, thank God. But hey, it, it shouldn't be that kind of a battle to get that off. And the other one does have a snap ring. That's why I was trying to come over here. And I was just going to simply get this one unit. I was like, let me see if I can even get this off. So I fought this and fought this and fought this. All you're supposed to do is to pop this stupid thing out right here. It pops on out. Like that. On all BMW 328Is or anything even similar, pop up. Once it's up, that comes off. But nope, when it gets overheated for so long, that ain't gonna come out. I mean, even that will fight me to the death. But I can still make if I wanted to get this, because even without, they have the new unit, the store wasn't that much. But even with this right here, it ain't coming off of there. But I'm saying, see what I'm saying? Ain't no way. This one's actually not nearly as hard as the other ones. Well, yeah, I don't know. I'll play with that later. I'm not doing that right now. I gotta get up out of here. The parking garage for too long. That's your snap ring. They all snap right in place. Of course, not anymore, but the new one I can pick up. It looks just like this. Not that much. I can get it all done. Thankfully, I'm like 90% certain. You see the back of that hose? Just waiting to blow. I mean, if it hasn't, hadn't been already leaking air. You can tell. I was had to, had to wiggle it around, break break that loose. It was no way. It was literally on there, seized on there. This clip just goes in here and snaps into place. I'm not putting it back on right now. I'm gonna wash my hands off. But yeah, basically I'm gonna put everything back how it was, neatly, and then yeah. So I checked everything. It seems good. I mean, I was just so afraid it was gonna break that neck, it's plastic right there. But it, all of it looks nice. I don't see anything coming out. Get that stupid thing out of there. I don't see nothing leaking. So. I won't let y'all refill it, but I got lucky. I will say that. I got really lucky. It, it was a really, a really, really a battle. That one especially. Stupid thing. I'll get it. Second, like I said, it really was a battle. So if you have a 328 out, just remember, be careful. We're here. Put this on YouTube. This is so incredibly insane. But the neck all seems intact. That was a fight. That was a real fight. Even getting the head off was a little bit of a struggle, but... 
<laughs> it's all over online how these things suck i mean you can see where i had to literally smack on this to get it loose and it still want to come off that's after the clip being removed but regardless that can be replaced i'm gonna i'm gonna show you how i'm about to make it fit uh, i'm gonna put this on youtube i'm gonna show you guys how to make it fit and go in there to make this work i'm gonna hang on to this o-ring this is uh i don't know what part of the broken thing so i'm gonna hang on to that too regardless it's off that was seized up in there that is i mean you can see that and, and the tear there and this is what's going on so i just want you to see exactly so you want to have a better understanding of things i know you know you don't understand exactly everything you don't work on cars but even with that just how hot it's been getting from the white residue right there this is bad shape luckily they had that hose today i almost got it but you didn't need the hose you needed the part that goes into those but regardless i'll get the hose i'll make the unit that'll fit into there guess what this will be working good when i get done say a little prayer i don't think it broke i was really careful i just pluck it real gently around it i believe we are good i can pressure test it but i mean i got a good feeling like i said it, i was very careful i almost stopped but then i noticed I, I figured out i could get it probably so i went ahead either way i don't think anybody else could have got it any other even bmw tech would have probably broke the thing off there and just said you need a new radio but guess what you ain't gonna need one because I got it done, baby. That was a pain. Your car's been a pain, but hey, I like my BMWs. I like all my BMWs. I try to treat them good, but this car really has not been nice. I hate it when things don't always go right, but you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> this is gonna work right. I promise you. Broke my vape, I think. But yeah, I'm gonna have it working right. Sorry, I just kind of twist my box up when I do this type of stuff crazy I know but you can always pop it right back in the place ain't that big a deal I'm gonna have a little tricky because <laughs> it's where it catches that but the main thing is be careful with the hill latch there you go right back in place and you see that's perfect you can always adjust this little thing down here later but I'm gonna have to be a lot of twisting and twerking so I may just undo the thing next time but it don't matter like I said this that's the least of the concerns right now as long as you don't rip those wires, you're good. You don't tear any boost, you're good. I'm going to spray that up and nicely that nice and lubed anyway when we're done. So, remember, BMW 328i. Do not buy one. I'm joking. Just do not let these get like that because that could have been bad. That was almost a broken radiator, which would have been several hundred dollars. Easy. All right, let me get out of Richmond City because it's parked in the road. Probably get a fat ticket next for nothing. I'm not a fucking piece of shit car. By the way, get used to this kind of shit. Have a BMW. Don't be complaining at your mechanics. Oh, this breaks in. You know what? Don't buy this piece of shit if you can't afford it. How about that?